Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I have a very special and unorthodox review for you guys today. All right, so coming all the way from Australia, I have a pair of the Champagne Pack Predator Mania 19.1 Remix, and they didn't come with a box, they didn't come with a string bag, they are just here, brand new, still with the little uh, the outer coating on the bottom of the shoe will potentially wear off during play, but will not affect the performance of this product. Adidas, thank you. These are beautiful football boots, and we're gonna talk a little bit about tech specs and just kind of go over some minor stuff um, on kind of this section of the video. And then all I wanna do with these is just hit some pings because this upper is insane insanely padded and soft. I am so excited to try these on and I am I think these are one of the best looking football boots uh, that were made in the last couple of years. I just think the silhouette of them is super nice. I love um, I actually wore the Predator so this is the 19.1 and they made this version and the plus model and the 19 plus Predator Mania was just the reverse. So it was a black leather uh, black Predator football boot with the white accents, white stripes, and uh, white uh, black laces, I believe. And then it did have this awesome sole plate. So this is the sole plate from the 19.1, uh, and then it also went into the 20, which was called the, we have the Edge, we have the Freak, and the one right before the Freak. Mutator, Mutator, so this also, uh, featured on the Mutator, which I wore in Australia for a little while. This is uh, Adidas's control frame, which features this awesome little kind of, these are, I guess they're diamond shaped studs, but they basically act as a little slightly more aggressive version of the, uh, of conical studs, which is really, really cool. Absolutely beautiful boot. This is a leather uh, leather kind of upper area with the knit in the midfoot and through um, the heel area here. It's got this really interesting heel counter texturing to it and uh, the three stripes of course, the black accents and then this matte metallic red on the bottom. So this upper includes a little bit of the textured fins from that Predator Mania that Beckham wore in 2002. This upper, I just can't get over how insanely soft this upper is. I'm so excited to try these on and feel how padded and plush this sensation is on feet. Um, you can hear the, uh, the, these little fins, which feature on the medial side, kind of where you would hit a, a bended ball, if you will. You can kind of hear. So it's definitely a little bit of texturing, but it's not a crazy amount. Obviously it is compared to, you've got the leather here and then you've got this, um, the texturing here. So it definitely is a lot more texturing than the, the raw leather for obvious reasons, um, but it's not gonna give you like an insane amount of grip, something like even the Predator Mutator or the Predator Freak or Edge um, in the point .1 or the plus variation. This is the technically the 19.1, so this is the Predator that is made um, this this same shape featured on the regular Predator 19.1, which you guys will see pictures up on screen of, and it's got this control skin upper, which is like a uh, this like beautiful leather, um, and it allows for a little bit of extra texture and grip on the the kind of the top or the top layer of this, while also offering an awesome amount of padding and stuff. This is a boot that I would wear to training any day of the week. I think this looks so exceptional. I think they're so good looking and I'm just super excited to try these out on feet, see what the ping feels like. This is a prime knit um, midfoot or uh, excuse me, lacing area and heel area. This is an interesting heel construction because of kind of this section right here. It's got this very silicone plastic kind of external heel counter almost with these little up and down, I don't know what you'd call these, but like the external heel counter with this extra silicone piece right here, and then it goes straight up into this prime knit material, which is pretty floppy if I'm honest. So my guess is that it won't provide a ton of seamless sensation, something like a New Balance Tequila V4. The new ones are really exceptional at giving you this seamless sensation. As you can see, this entrance 
is a lot larger than that one and there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of snap back and that was one thing that I didn't like about wearing the mutators is after a while they this entrance area got kind of uh, floppy if you will like it wasn't it was almost like the first generation Magista and first generation Superfly 4 with that collar that just wasn't anatomical at all and now brands are getting much better at making those these little collars if they are high top a little bit more anatomical but these one this one doesn't definitely uh, feel that way I think it would be really really cool let's see if I can fold this down um, I think it'd be kind of cool to make like a I don't know oh that didn't work very well did it well there you go so it, I think it'd be kind of cool to make a low top version but I do think that this silhouette is really nice the colorway is so good I this is like classic predator mania colorway I love this matte red finish I think it looks matte metallic red I think it looks so good and uh, I'm just super excited to see what these feel like on feet so without further ado guys let's hop into the on feet portion of the video with these special edition predator mania 19.1s all right fam welcome back to the awesome facility so here i have the predator mania 19.1s they're they're a little heavy but i am so excited with how plush this upper is to try these on feet and to get a sense of what they feel like with a ball at your foot so without further ado let's hop into it so I've got my non-grip version of Zypher socks that I use for all of my trainings and games. These are fantastic. Um, if you are interested in 10% off, first link down in the description. All right, so here we go with these bad boys. We are gonna pop these on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God. These are so good. This is such a padded and plush upper straight out of the box and the width fits really nicely. They're gonna definitely hurt a little bit coming out of the box, um, and, or I guess there is no box, but they are definitely gonna be, take a little bit of break in time, especially on the width, but that is no problem. Definitely worth it for how comfortable these boots are. Ooh, definitely takes a little bit to get in there just because it is a little bit of a stiffer upper and midfoot, um, but there you go without being tied up. I'm just gonna get these laces tied up super quickly and then we'll talk about kind of fit, feel, what it's like. The height of this collar is very similar to the special edition Superfly 4s and 5s and 6s and all that stuff that CR7 gets. Um, so the original collar's height of those Nike, the Magista and also the Superfly were way over the ankle. They were like, if you see these ribs in these socks, it was like all the way up here. And I love this one because it's, it doesn't make you feel, it's not a low cut, so it doesn't go like below the ankle like this, but it's also not one that covers your entire ankle. So I actually really like the height of this sock. All right, so here you go on feet. That's what these boots look like. They are so comfortable out of the box. I am just floored by how comfy these are. Very, very excited to wear these in uh, training sessions coming up. Hit some, hit some proper pings with them. I am telling you, these fit me perfectly. That's where my toe is, right on the end, right where I like it. And this leather is so good. We're gonna, um, here's what they look like on feet. I really like this sole plate. This is a sole plate that I have uh, really enjoyed in when I wore the Predator Mutators. Uh, and on the 19.1s, they are no different. Touch on the ball, super plush, super almost seamless. So because it's just that one piece and the knit material really provides that kind of really nice area in the lacing system right here. So that prime knit material really provides a nice stretch and a nice snug fit. And there's very much kind of a seamless sensation between this collar area and into this forefoot and stuff. They, they just feel so good. There's no slippage in the heel. Um, and I imagine that pinging a ball in these shoes is going to be absolutely spectacular. Passing a ball, pinging a ball, hitting a corner or a free kick or something in these is going to be awesome. I'm not a crazy huge fan of this heel area. I think they don't, they go up a little bit higher than I would like. Maybe if they were kind of maybe right there, that would be, that would be awesome. That would be super ideal. But um, 
no, I mean, overall, these boots are so incredibly comfortable. The lateral stability is great, even though it is like kind of a remake upper. It's not exactly what the Mania was, but it is definitely a remake of that one and sort of a fusion between the 19.1 upper and then the Mania upper, which is awesome. But I am like genuinely floored at how comfortable these boots are. Oh my God. <laughs> I cannot wait to train in these and just get some proper passes and pings and stuff going on. Uh, let's just, you know, th there's a goal that's over there. So I'm going to take a shot and we're just going to see how these feel. Yeah. Yeah. Top ins always fantastic. Such a nice feel, such an awesome pair of football boots. I'm so stoked to have these. And I really do think these are going to be a mainstay in my rotation because they're kind of rare and I think they look really dope and I love the feel of them and they're very much more of like a midfielder or a center back type boot. This is like what I imagine. Obviously I can play out. I played outside back in my Predators before, but um, this is a pair of boots that I just, the, the feeling that I get when I wear them is very much like OG midfielder, number six, absolutely controls the play and I just am Maybe, maybe I can make them last like six, seven, eight years to when I'm starting to think about retiring from professional football and I just want to sit in the midfield, ping, ping, ping. I'll wear these. They'll be brilliant, and, but no doubt I'm going to continue to wear them in training, so they are awesome. If you can find a pair of these, would recommend buying them. They are so cool. The underfeel of the sole plate is awesome. It's very neutral. Um, it is quite wide in the forefoot area. So if you are somebody who often struggles with the width of your football boots, I would recommend trying to find a pair of these. Um, and I actually really like that they don't have all the spikes on them. So I think that's the best parts of the 19.1 and the Mania all put together. You get a little bit of grip from these fins on the inside, the medial side of your foot, and they really do create such a nice sensation on your feet. And I love the way these fit and feel and look. Oh my God, they are beautiful. So definitely going to keep these in the rotation, start wearing them every once in a while. Um, if you like videos like this and you want more kind of exclusive, fun, a little bit more retro boots that were made a couple years ago, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel already, really helps out. I appreciate it. And as always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.